This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm down in Ilford today. I'd like to be joined by unbeaten sensation Bilal Ali. Bilal, it's been a while. How you been, mate? It's been a long time. I've been great, bro. How you been? I've been very good. Thank you for asking. We are here at the Box Up Crime Gym. It's just been opened. Fantastic facility. If you haven't checked out the Box Up Crime Initiative, check it out. Fantastic. Trying to bring in kids and give them a better life through boxing. Just to touch on the work they're doing here, Bilal. Fantastic opportunity for these kids to, to make a life through the sport of boxing. 100%. And that's the main thing, you know. Um, why I get so happy what Steven's doing, who's the owner of Box Up Crime, why I get so happy is because me as a young kid, this is something I really needed. And um, now that these kids are getting that chance, um, it makes me really happy. And Stephen, he's doing a great job. When you look at the life you're now forging through boxing and the, the chance it's going to give all these kids to, to do something they may have well not been able to do without this opportunity, do you think it's important that you know we should start teaching kids a, a, an art like this, a discipline from a young age to, to set themselves up for their life? 100% because kids, sometimes they don't know what they want in life. So what they do is they go to a negative route which is um, <clears throat> not good for them. So once they learn discipline, once they taught boxing or taught any sort of sport that can help them, um, it's great for them. And I think as a young kid, you need that. On 2019, you did start to get the ball rolling. Three wins. You haven't been in the ring for obvious reasons this year, but we will see you next weekend. You must be itching by now to get back in there. You listen, it's been a long time. Um, it's been almost a year now. You know, last time I fought was December last year. Um, and because of this delay, Things pause a little bit, but um, you gotta just take with what you got, carry on doing what you're doing, and um, I'm glad that I'm back in the ring. How long have you been able to be back and working with Tundi and the guys since sort of lockdown eased a little bit? How long have you been back in the gym? It's been it's been quite a while now. I mean, I remember I was with my uncle Arma, Pasha, at the Ed Gym, training with them a lot. Uh, they they helped me um, get back into shape properly. Then we finally got this gym, which is my friend Steven's gym, um, and I've been blessed. You know, we've been here training very hard and um, I'm even happy to be back in shape properly because um, over the quarantine there wasn't really a place where you can train properly. I was jogging and training in the park a little bit but you couldn't really do what you wanted to do so I'm glad that I'm here. How challenging was that for you for the first time since you turned professional just having to rely on yourself purely for motivation, not having the routine of being able to pop down the gym and just it all weighed, the weight sort of rested on your shoulders to keep things going? Well it was something completely different because like I said um, this is my job, my profession. So for us to not train in a gym every single day, it did seem a bit different. But um, like I said, I think it's different for everybody. But the main thing is you've got to stay positive, have faith in yourself, and just keep doing what you're doing. As I mentioned, we are going to see you back in action next weekend, Bilal. Have you had any sort of opponent news you can share with us? And what is it you want to get out of next weekend as well? just want to get a great win, a great performance, and uh, I can't wait to showcase what I've been taught. And... Um, show the hard work that's been put in this camp. Have you heard anything about the opponent and, and rounds, etc.? What kind of guy you can be expecting to be in there with? Um, I was supposed to fight somebody else, but they pulled out. <laughs> I was supposed to fight somebody else, but they pulled out. But um, we've got another opponent who I don't know much about, but you, you just have to adapt and um, just be yourself once you're in that ring. So. Now, we did hear the first lines in the camp there, so I'm not going to keep you for too much longer because I think we're about to witness something back over on the other side of the gym. I wanted to touch on life under Tundi Ajayi, though. What are the main things Tundi's instilled in you since you've sort of been working together and the time you've had together? Motivation. Um, always telling me to keep working hard because he's seen what it takes. Don't forget, you know, he's someone who used to go to Vegas to the Mayover gym and see how world champions used to train. So when he tells me how hard you got to work and what you got to do, um, I listen to him and that's what I do. So The first I'd actually heard of you was Tundi Ajayi said you know, a few years ago, this kid that's coming through, I'm telling you, he's got faster hands than Amir Khan. That's what he said. Well, how much does it mean you have that not only trainer but role model then, someone who really has that belief in you as well? Does it give you that boost? Um, it's great. You know, that sort of comments. I remember he actually said that to me the first time I sparred, I think. And, um, you know, Amir Khan, he's somebody who's also motivated me, uh, motivated the Asian community. Um, and I think it's been great, you know, um, for him to say that. And for him to have that belief in me, it motivates me even more and really wants me to show him even more than um, what he expects. So it's great. Your stalemate, Anthony Yard, is also back in action next weekend, topping the bill against Dex Spellman. What do you expect to see from Anthony when them two collide next weekend? Uh, a win, a stoppage, um, I believe... It's going to be a great show. This is the first time me and Anthony are on the same card, which was supposed to happen several times. But now that it's finally happening, um, you know, it's a blessing. And I actually can't wait for the show. 
Now, Anthony was meant to fight Lyndon Arthur earlier in the air before sort of lockdown happened and it was pushed back. We do expect him to meet later in the air of all as well next weekend. What do you make of that as a fight, exciting fight for the British fans? Do you see Anthony being able to stop him in that fight? Yes, it's going to be a great fight. Um, good for the British fans. Um, but overall, it's going to be good. You know, you've got um, Arthur, who's come off a win a couple of weeks ago. And um, you've got Anthony fighting this weekend. And after that, um, they can get on. So um, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's going to be a great show. Just to finish on, you, just to finish on yourself, Bilal. Anyway. Anthony has entered the building. Yeah. Just to finish with yourself, uh, you will be 5-0 if you get the win next weekend. How long before you start to want looking for me? It'd be regional titles or a little bit of a step up in your professional journey? Well, you know what? Because this year has been a bit of a pause, um, it was probably supposed to be early next year, but um, hopefully by the end of next year, we can fight for some title. You know, I'm very confident in myself and what I can do. And you've got to prove yourself in this sport. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Probably next year. And... Um, God willing, we can wrap them up. Do you think activity is the key for you now after that little bit of a layoff of everything that's gone on? Do you just need to be as busy as possible to get ready for when that time comes? 100%. Just like every other boxer, um, you've got to stay active. Um, I've been in the gym, but I really want to be under them lights and just um, showcase my skills and, like I said, what I've been taught. Well, thank you very much for your time. Take care. I'm sure we'll catch you after the fight.